There's the cryptid. That looks kind of crazy. Well, the report wasn't lying. That is one big mamma jamma. Sensing any spatial distortion, Teotot? Yes, time, space, and mirage. All three higher elements are present here. Though I can't quite pinpoint uh, the case. That's troubling. What's the plan? CGF's account made it clear that these things are dangerous. If we're going in for the extermination, we'd better make sure we're fully prepared. Roger that. Am I fully prepared? I don't have a whole lot of CP. You don't have an action on you. Let's get rid of EP cut, I believe. For an action two. You lose nothing for it. Give you a little bit of extra speed. Uh, just in case, check tactics here. Oh yeah, glad I checked. Don't know what the heck Wazy's doing back there. Bust up a sucker. Just got complicated. It's just got less complicated. Thank you, Tio. Wait, you didn't remove the status effects. I thought that was you. That defense down, though. Let's get in there. Oh, 
Finally managed to get a spot in the queue uh, to get your call handled. Excellent. Heavily. <sighs> Did you guys have time to change already? I guess that's why you're streaming one hour earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, daylight savings happened, I think, like a week or two ago. Sorry, I forget, you know. Americans and their, their stupid things. speed down. Nice! I got a double right there. Must have been because of the speed breaker. That's a nice little combo right there. I didn't think it would work that way. Too very disappointing. It really was strong. Yes, and the way it vanished after we defeated it is al was was almost eerie. Is it the spatial distortion disappearing, Tio? No, I can still sense the three higher elements at work. You're kidding me. What the heck is causing it? Not the cryptid itself, evidently. A shame. Uh, that was our best guess. I suppose the only thing we can hope is 
or we can do is hope we get luckier defeating the other one. Let me just go check this over here. Blue spikelets are blooming upon the grass here. Flowers are beautiful. There's something odd about that pale glow they've got, though. Oh, oh. There are no other flowers like that around here, so they've got to be suspicious. How these things work. And uh, it's okay, Mana Dry. No, nothing crazy has really occurred. I don't think you really missed anything. Uh, if I were to recap it, we uh, we had a meeting that monsters are appearing around Crossbell. And it's our job to make it so that they're not living anymore. Spent most of my time uh, shopping and whatnot. Okay. This is all just one quest, right? I can't just turn this in right now. Alright. East Crossbell Highway. I have a pretty good idea where this one is. Hold on. Let's uh, go rest in the crib and get our EP back. to the boathouse. And suspicions confirmed. There's one creepy monster. If it gets any closer to the boathouse, we're totally screwed. Right, we'll have to evacuate uh, the second that happens. For now, though, we'd better wait for the CGF to come out here. Well, uh, well now, is that you, Lloyd? Long time no see, Sardan. Uh, we heard that a giant cryptid was spotted around here. Like, they know what a cryptid is. Cryptid, you say? That's a fitting name if I've ever heard one. But yes, that cryptid, or whatever it is, suddenly appeared from deep in the marsh yesterday evening. We contacted the CGF to come take care of it, but no updates on that yet. Are you and the SSS here to deal with it, Lloyd? We are. The CGF transferred the request to us. Could you start by telling us the details of the situation, please? Sure. So, like I said, it all started yesterday evening. Uh, we were just going about our business when suddenly we got spooked by uh, the strangest animal cry we'd ever heard. There was a sp suspicious shadow moving deep within the part of the marsh that had always been sealed off. So we decided to go check it out. That's when we spotted the cryptid. After that, we immediately made our report to the CGF. We thought about clearing out uh, from the place, but the thing just stayed back there. Uh, it didn't seem like it was going to change either. So to be safe, we've been taking turns monitoring the situation since last night. A wise decision. Did anything peculiar happen while you were watching it? Not that I know of. Actually, there was one thing. We could definitely tell it was hostile approaching it from afar, but, well... Uh, how to put this? It felt like the reason it hasn't crept over to the boathouse is because it can't, like it's immobile. Though obviously we can't confirm that. I see. So, A, it came out of nowhere, and B, it can't leave the general area. Probably has something to do with all that spatial distortion stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. In that case, we'd like to head in and investigate right away. Is that okay with you, Sir Don? By investigate, you really mean exterminate? Then go ahead, be my guest. Here, I'll unlock the gate. All right, 
Uh, you're good to go. It's all up to you now. Thanks. We'll take care of this. Well, like, I'm gonna go fishing. Definitely a creepy looking monster. Theo, can you sense the spatial distortion now? Yes, the three hi higher elements are present here as well. Just as before, I'm still not able to determine the cause of it. Here we go again. Judging by, la the la uh, judging by last time, the cryptid itself is in the source. Lloyd, we should prepare to engage it in combat. Or should we? Proceed with caution. It's a Hydra plant, then it's probably going to respawn those thingamabobbers. speed down. Okay. Could be worse. Oh yeah, those guys got some HP on them. Alright. That one. as I was hoping. Got that defense down. Nice, nice, nice. I go for the speed again. 
Beautiful. You're out of range. Oh, right. You've been casting an art. I should cancel that. That would be a good idea. Killing the boss is gonna kill the little Hydra tentacles, so. Gonna operate on the assumption that gotta kill them too. thousand you're gonna do about a thousand you can do 500 nice no misses beautiful that one went extremely well Ooh, an MP2 I don't have to buy that Adios. Uh, that one was just as strong as the last. I don't know about all that now. Uh, yes, and it disappeared in, exa in, in exactly the same way. Let me guess. The spatial distortion isn't letting up either. You guessed correctly. Though I can say with more confidence that both instances do indeed have a specific cause. Specific cause? Do you have any idea what it could be? Fortunately, my senses haven't been affected by the distortion. Uh, so I haven't been able to put my finger on it. I have a feeling the rest of you uh, may have a better chance of locating the source. We really? Let's give it a shot. Uh, we might find a lead if we investigate the area. There has to be something causing these distortions, and we're going to figure it out. Roger that. Alright, let's bust out those fine-toothed combs and get to searching. Yeah, I wonder if it's this blue grass over here plant or whatever it is. Uh, look at all this flowering grass. I believe we saw the same kind of uh, blooming where we fought the cryptid on the sandbar. Yep, these are identical, no doubt about it. They're absolutely beautiful. I don't think I recognize them though. I wonder what they're called. Stab in the dark, but is this it? Might be worth a shot. I don't know about picking it up. Lloyd? Struck with a sudden urge uh, for flower picking, are we? Well, usually, I wouldn't want to disturb them like this, but... Uh, the heck? Ow. What was that? 
was that it was as if the very air itself started rumbling. Hey, Tio, how's the spatial distortion now? The presence of the higher elements has completely vanished. I no longer sense any anomalous properties in the area. I guess I was right. Wait just a second. Are you telling me those blue plants are what was causing all this? It's hard to deny after what we've just witnessed. Still, it's insane to think that such a tiny little thing could hold that much power. More like unbelievable. Uh, do any of you know what they're called? I don't, and I also don't detect anything out of the ordinary about them anymore. Perhaps we should uh, have an expert in the field look at them. Good idea, but where though? This one might be out of the scope of what the doctors at the medical college do. For now, we should safely store them away so we don't lose them. Uh, that way, we can have them ready to be inspected in case we find someone qualified. Yeah, let's do that. Wazy, something on your mind? Nothing urgent, but I just might have heard about something like this a long time ago. I vaguely recall there being mention of a mysterious azure flora in the church's testaments. Really? What? Are you serious? Like I said, it was a long time ago, and I was reading one to uh, always. I was always one to skim when reading. You've been to Arteria, Ellie. Does it sound familiar to you? Well, I wouldn't call myself an expert when it comes to the testaments, but now that you mention it, I do recall reading something along those lines. There's a legend about an azure flora imbued with inexplicable powers. Doesn't that sound exactly like what we just witnessed? In that case, perhaps the professional we should be looking to consult is affiliated with the church. I was thinking the same. Try asking Sister Marble or Sister Reese about it. That should work. I'm sure either of them would be sufficiently knowledgeable. Then we're all set. Next stop, Crossbell Cathedral. I'm going to go back to uh, the other area and see what happens. Hopefully these guys don't like interrupt me and be like, Oh, you killed? Okay, they are going to do that. Lloyd, were you able to take down the cryptid? Yeah, we managed. Uh, you should still be careful, but I doubt it's coming back anytime soon. Really? Well, that's a relief. Uh, now we can devote ourselves to the way of the rod again. We owe you one. By the by, Lloyd, I have something for you. Think of it as a token of our appreciation. Ooh, Viking rod. Uh, this is a new fishing rod. Sure is. I put it put it together to help us take down the Imperial Fishing Club. You'll be able to reel up way bigger catches with this bad boy. Wait, you made this, Peter? Uh, he may not look the part, but Peter's a real whiz with a toolkit. Every once in a while, he'll whip up some brand new gear by tinkering with stuff that's on the market. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, considering how much he sucks at actual fishing. Oh, shut it, Copan. No one asked for your commentary. Still, uh, this is a real nice piece of equipment. Thanks for letting me have it. Alright, I forgive you for, for interrupting me. Alright, let's give the Viking Rod a chance. By a carp. Really thought that was gonna catch something. I was I was ready. See if you got something new. Let's make our way to... Um, right here.
Oh, come to think of it, maybe we should pick these plants too. What do you say? Let's not. We only need one sample to take back, so let's just leave them be and see how it goes. We can think of them as a control group of sorts. Good idea. If we were to pick them, they would lose whatever power they have. Yes, but we may not we may have no choice if it causes another cryptid to appear. Cross that bridge when we get to it. It's nothing we can't handle. Okay. A fair assessment. Casa Jin. You sucker fools. I want a big fish. Give me a shark or a whale. Oh, pale salamander. close just needed one more one more reach come on come on yeah buddy I just gotta find out who wants to get bodied by me Let's go check this sucker for We're already here. I mean, he's right outside the medical college, isn't he? find this rest stop. Only four of them. I'm gonna think of it. Have I found the fifth one? Catch a fish of 130 reeds or longer. Now let's discuss the terms of our fated rivalry. The match shall be a three-round angler's duel, simple yet profound. Uh, we may each cast our lines thrice. Afterward, whoever holds the greater sum in total, or total in length, will be declared the victor. Well, allow me to put you in your place. Take the lead if you don't mind. Okay, 
is all but certain. 90. Okay, 84. Take it. You have some skills, but don't let that go to your head. rod this time. Try to get a big boy. Yeah. We are definitely in the lead now. Viking rod again. All right. Compare our catches, shall we? Take that, sucker. What in the world? Unbelievable. I must concede my defeat. I may be a proud angler, but I know when I'm taking on water. It's my dubious honor to award you with this. Ooh, very much. Henceforth, you shall be known as the uh, by the title of Dragon Princess Vanquisher, as per the Imperial Fishing Club's bylaws. However, don't take this as an excuse to start putting on airs. Or no matter how much you struggle and, and strive, you are simply no match for Lord Lake Lord. Compared to him, you are as insignificant as a frog in a well. Or perhaps a tadpole, no worse, an insect. A water flea. Okay, okay, I get it. Tried the deluxe dumplings. Ooh, that's a big one. Amber reel. Oh no, that's what I call a big catch. Looks like a tiger. Uh, really gave me a charge too. Wonder if it's rare. Tiger Rock Eater, part of a fabled fishing set, allows for maximum precision and reeling strength. Yeah, okay.
I was like, where's my car? And I walk all the way back. Wait, I can't kill you? What is going on? There's a panda over there. Oh my gosh, you're alive? Little speck of HP. Was that like two HP? Alright, oh, I wanna I wanna check what this does. Accuracy minus ten percent. Some ATS. to the church. Evening really crept up, uh, crept up on us today. There's still a lot of information to gather, but I'd like to submit a written report by the end of the night. That would be ideal. Hopefully, we'll be able to track some more clues uh, down while we're here. Our best leads at the moment are Reese and Sister Marvel. Shall we go consult them? Yeah, let's head to the Sunday School classroom first. Good evening, SSS. What are you doing here? Mr. Grimwood, good evening to you too. I heard you've been keeping rather busy lately. Really? How so? Well, you see, the mayor requested my services in drafting a preliminary constitution for Crossbell as an independent nation. What? A constitution? As in separate from our autonomous state law? Constitutions are basic outlines of fundamental principles uh, used to provide a legal basis for the creation of a political entity. They establish the precedents and structures under which a governing body will operate. That includes sovereignty free from external in interference. If Crossbell is to become independent, drafting a constitution will be indispensable uh, part of the process. My title today means all the more. Uh, not gonna lie, uh, some of that went over my head. Okay, most of it. Hardly surprising, that would be why a specialist like Mr. Grimwood was called in. The mayor solicited me with such enthusiasm, and I couldn't bring myself to turn him down. And to be perfectly honest, I support his proposal on a personal level. Bringing it into reality will be no simple task, but I'd like to assist in whatever way I can. Wow, I never knew you felt so strongly. I assume that means uh, you're here to petition Adios for uh, an extra bit of divine favor? Something like that. I'm at an impasse in my work, so I thought coming to offer a prayer would be a nice change of pace. Uh, it's only human for a man to turn to the goddess in times of adversity. I'm with you there, big guy. I've bent the knee a few times myself at Barca. We wish you uh, luck with your work, Mr. Grimwood. Feeling is mutual, my friends. Speaking of work, it's, time, it's getting to be quite late. Are you here on duty? Yes, that's right. You just have to ask a few quick questions. 
I have a few quick questions to ask at the cathedral. Dauntless as ever, I see. I suppose we all have a lot on our plates. If there's anything you need, feel free to stop by my office. The door is always open to you. Thanks, as always, Mr. Grimwood. Uh, be careful on your way home. He seems overworked. Indeed, drafting a constitution likely takes more effort than we can even imagine. Rossbell's future hinges on the words he writes. The Empire and the Republic will scour for even the most trivial reason to declare it invalid. Yikes. Uh, he may not have any cryptids to subdue, but that doesn't make his work any less taxing. On that note, shouldn't we be making our way to the classroom? Point taken, let's go. Classroom. Actually, is that the cl No, not the classroom. But here is the classroom. Looks like the older kids are still in class at the moment. Yes, though evidently Kia isn't in attendance today. May I help you all? Archbishop Aralda. Good evening. If I remember correctly, you're those youths from the Crossbell Police. Come to see Sister Marble, I presume? That's right. We wanted to consult her about a plant we found today. A plant, you say? Is it some type, type of medicinal herb, perhaps? No, not exactly. We think it might have been referenced in the Testaments. Is that so? In that case, I would be willing to offer you my expertise in her stead. Believe it or not, I'm rather well versed on herbalism as well as general botany. Oh, I never would have guessed. I'll leave the decision to you. Come to my office if you wish to speak with me further about this further. You gotta watch him walk all the way back. I guess that's to show that that's his office. Well, that happened. It's hard not to hold my breath every time he's around. Well, he did offer. Why not take him up on it? Yeah, go talk to him. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to him. Pardon us, Archbishop Aralda. It's the special support section. You may enter. Now state your business. You claim to have discovered a plant spoken of in the Testaments. Well, we haven't actually been able to confirm anything just yet. Maybe it would be best if we start from the beginning. On one hand, mysterious creatures. On the other, discrepancies in the fabric of space and time itself. Yes, and these creatures are different from the ones that previously appeared in Stargazer's Tower in the Moon Temple. All right, I almost forgot. Noel did mention consulting with the Church after our joint investigation. Flowering grass, do you happen to have a sample with you right now? Yes, we do. Uh, they're not glowing like they were before we picked them, but here you are. Can't be. Does that mean what I think it does? You know what they are after all. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. No, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to give me the run around. Next thing he's going to say is, I'll just hold on to this so that uh, I can look into it more. What? The heck? Stop holding out on us. Your reaction just now tells us otherwise. And I'm afraid your judgment is mistaken. It was I who invited you into my office. Thus, do I now insist that you leave. You may not realize this, but I'm a very busy man. I have to be kidding. And I suggest you not bother asking Sister Marble either. You may be a knowledgeable woman, but if I was unable to identify them, then I assure you that neither can she. And if, uh, if she were familiar with them, that would present a problem in of itself. Hold on a second. The way you're talking implies that you definitely know what they are. Think whatever you will. My answer, uh, my previous answer still stands. You could send Commander Bales to my door if you please, or if you so pleased. It wouldn't change a thing. We should go, Lloyd. I don't think we're going to get any more out of him. 
You're right. Thank you for your time, Archbishop. Pray you won't hold this against me. What was his problem? Old man shut us out like we were covered in fleas. He didn't even try to help us. Randy. Uh, he didn't seem all that concerned about hiding his intentions at that. It almost seemed as though he felt he was doing us a favor somehow. Might, uh, it might be something the church considers taboo. So much so that even Sister Marble wouldn't know anything about it. But doesn't all this talk of secrecy just make you want to know more or know that much more? It's not as if they can stop us from reading the testaments front to back ourselves. I suppose that's not out of the question, but who knows how long that could take. I've studied them before, yes, but that was a long, a long ago. I couldn't even tell you which verse or what book to start from. I doubt you'll find the details you're hoping for in the traditional canon. It's Reese. You're Reese. Keep your voices down. Uh, come meet me in front of the personage. Parsonage. Uh, try not to arouse any suspicion leaving the cathedral. What should we do? Oh, Reese is tied to the Grawls I think we. I think she's our best bet. Let's go hear what she has to say. I agree. Maybe I should have spoken to Marble first. So much from class today, Sister uh, Marble. Sorry for embarrassing myself in front of the younger children like that. There's no need to be so hard on yourself, Sister Juju. Um, thousand cell and education is a long process. And you're not talking about stuff and stuff. All right, what the heck is a parsonage? Oh, probably this. Follow me, please. I'd prefer it if the others didn't see us. Right, pardon us. Afterward, Lloyd and the others were shown to Reese's room. They then outlined what they knew about the blue flowers and recounted the conversation they'd had with Archbishop Aralda. Now I understand. It doesn't surprise me that the Archbishop refused to divulge anything to you. You know something about it, Reese. Yes, about this per uh, particular plant you picked. I believe it's the same one written about in the church's testaments. Yeah, we just it, we just gone through explaining that to you. Or rather, I should say it's unofficial testaments, the Apocrypha. Apocrypha. By unofficial, you mean their testaments not recognized by the Septian Church. Yes, that's correct. Even within the church itself, few are permitted to ever lay eyes upon them. However, an exception is granted to the Grawls Ritter. That is to say, we are allowed to read the Apocrypha. Uh, it's a necessity given how many artifacts are outlined within the pages of those testaments. Now I get it. And you're saying this blue plant is also written about in the Apocrypha. Yes, a particular azure flora is mentioned in the Book of Ladder. It blooms in locations above Septian veins and is said to be an omen of things to come, uh, be they for weal or woe. They call it Floroma grass. That name. Isn't that the one written in the cult's records, the main ingredient used in Gnosis? That's correct. Could have sworn uh, we heard the last of that stuff. It's all come in full circle. Though so that was what they were using. Many of the mysteries left behind by the cult have remained inscrutable, even to the church. There's also Archbishop Aralda to contend with. He's been stonewalling us from investigating the traces left behind by Joachim Gwenter. Wait, there's something st I still don't understand. If this Floroma grass stuff is the key ingredient used in Gnosis, then what is it doing blooming all over Crossbell right now? What does it mean? That's a good question. The fact that it corresponds with the cryptid's emergence is also cause for concern. A plant that blooms atop septium veins. Not to mention, uh, one known simultaneously 
uh, as a good and bad omen. Yeah, I'm not liking the way these pieces are falling into place. Regardless of what it means, this isn't something we handle on our own. Let's return to the SSS building for now and give the chief our report. Reese, would you mind if we relayed what you told us to the guild and CGF? Well, I suppose not, as long as you refrain from mentioning me by name. Still trying to avoid the watchful eye of the Archbishop, are you? Naturally, we wouldn't do anything to compromise you, Reese. And I have no objections. I'm going to get in touch with the Grawlsritter before beginning my own investigation. Would you be willing to exchange information with me if either of us makes progress? That'd be no problem at all. Thank you for your help. Yeah, but are you gonna are you gonna call me and give me information, or are you just gonna rely on me giving you information and you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll look into it, and then you don't give me any information to go off of, so I can't continue my investigation, because that doesn't sound like a give and take situation here, you know. One of the others then returned to the SSS building. They quickly put together a report on the cryptids and Floroma grass, taking care to include every detail, including Reese's name. Uh, the report was then sent to the CGF Embracer Guild via Orbal Network. After enjoying a late dinner with the Chief and Kia, they succumbed to the exhaustion of the day and went back to their rooms for a good night's sleep. Do I hear something? That's walled. It's definitely walled. That's what I'm talking about. Never felt better. With this, I'll crush him. Crush him till he's nothing but dust. Oh, maybe that's not walled. What, uh, what took you, huh? Yeah, yeah. No worries. I can go anytime you want. Could be bald. Just one condition. We handle things my way. Got it? I have no idea who that is. Could be walled. I'm not going to lock in the walled, but I'm saying walled right now. It would be premature to lock in an answer. you got there toast what's that underneath that what's that on the side too don't look like no eggs look like it's green some, uh, some pork chops or something I see so this floroma grass stuff was the main ingredient for that drug huh if that's the case the department isn't going to overlook it growing across the state we were planning on continuing our investigation alongside the guild, but there's some other matter you feel warrants attention. You could put it like that, but I think it's best left to the other divisions. The referendum is getting closer, and there's bound to be a lot of unrest in the city. Put your focus there. The priority right now is to quell their anxieties before things get out of hand. Very good point. So in other words, crisis management. In that case, uh, what do we do regarding today's plans? We already finished our part of the cryptid search yesterday. Well, if we've got the time, we could always go give the bracers a hand anyway. Oh well, yeah, I didn't stop by the hospital to visit Shizuku. What's the matter? Something on your mind? Well, I was just thinking, why don't we try paying the Rosenberg Studio visit? Ah, I meant to go do that too. I forgot about it. Oh, the place does have ties to the society. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We're not in a position to search the studio without a warrant, of course. But if you recall, the old man living there told us uh, something last time we visited. If you have no particular business here, then we have nothing to speak about. You may visit me again when you have a reason to. I will at least hear what you have to say, if only out of respect for Ren. Maybe worth stopping by to see him. Though doing so does come with its fair share of risks. Maybe so, but I, for one, would like some insight on the mysterious boy's objectives. For all we know, uh, he could be taking shelter at that very studio. I think we should go too. Uh, we have to consider the circumstances. There's no telling what the major powers might do at a moment's notice. Can't afford to leave some shady criminal organization to its own devices at the top of it all. That's a fair assessment. 
we make the studio our first priority then? You know, let's get a feel for the situation. Depending on where things go, we may end up needing a search warrant after all. Guess we'll just have to see. Alright, enough round table talk. Let's head on out. Hey guys, does that mean you're leaving for work now? Yeah, that was the plan. Uh, aren't you going to the library today, Kia? Yeah, I wanted to find a book of a book in Braille for Shizuku. And to buy groceries on my way home. Is there anything you want for dinner? Coming for groceries? Will you be okay on your own, Kia? Uh, we know you've been handling all the cooking lately, but even so. It's fine. I buy groceries from Momo's dad and Oscar all the time. And I'm already friends with the Legion's uh, foods lady at, ti at times, too. Oh, really? What a surprise. This is keto we're talking about. Well, in that case, why don't we go for some hot pot today? Can't think of a better cure for this chilly weather. Good idea. It'd be like a team building exercise, but with food. Hot pot. I suppose that means we'll be eating Eastern style tonight. Can you handle that, Kia? I think I can manage. I want to make the broth from scratch, so I'm going to go to the stalls on East Street. Well, look at our little head chef here. Uh, we have yet to even leave, and already I look forward to coming home. Thank you, Kia. We'll try our hardest to make it back on time. You got it. Alright, gotta save and mark.